everyone, welcome back to another video. My name's Steve, and if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Today's video, I'm gonna take a little bit of a walk back and I'm gonna look at the financing that I did with my 718 Cayman. If you've been watching my videos, you'll know that I previously put one out there that was about how much that Cayman cost me to own in about 11 months of ownership. Back in 2018, before I took the plunge and jumped in to buy in the Cayman, I actually owned a VW Polo. Now it was only a 1.2 and I'd owned the car for four years on a PCP finance agreement, I cleared the agreement, including the balloon payment, and there was value in the car ready to be used as a deposit somewhere else. Before I ended up at the Porsche dealer, going to negotiate on this 718 Cayman that I eventually purchased. I was looking for something performance. I knew that I'd been able to save a little bit of money in my mortgage. I had more available for a monthly payment and I didn't really know what I wanted. When I started looking around, I had originally really gravitated towards a BMW M2. I've always liked BMW M3s and the M2 was a smaller car. It was in that sort of price bracket that the Cayman was sitting in new and there was quite a good deal going PCP at the time direct from the dealers. Now the one problem with mass produced cars like that is they're not really built to order. BMW, Audi, VW, Mercedes, a lot of these brands, especially those German ones, they build quite a lot of cars and they stack them ready for customers to come and buy them. Time to time when they've got too many of these cars sitting around, maybe they haven't sold fast enough or they built quite a lot and people hadn't come into the showroom to take them on, they will offer incentivized PCB contracts to try and get you in there to pay a monthly payment that you want to pay. I've had some bittersweet experiences with that type of situation and I did exit the BMW once at a loss when I'd reached the halfway point in the agreement. Looking at the Porsches, it doesn't matter which ones you kind of buy in the sports car range, whether you're in a 911, you're in a 718, because these cars are actually built to order most of the time and there's never really a car lying around unless a dealer's disposing of a demonstrator, or maybe somebody's cancelled an order, these cars hold their value quite well and the depreciation curve, especially after the first year, is a lot shallower than you'll find with mass-produced cars. So when I eventually ended up at the dealer and I thought, well, if I'm gonna spend that type of money, I might as well try and get the best value that I can, especially if I'm only gonna hold on the car a year or two. Because I couldn't buy a car new, I eventually ended up doing a deal on the X demonstrator model. And you'll see the car that I spec if you watch a previous video on how much it cost me. And the car originally knew was about £52,000. Once I'd seen the car and we'd had a look and I decided that I wanted it, we agreed on a price which ended up being £45,000. At the time on the market, I did a double check before I committed to the car and the cars were selling for about that at about six months appreciation curve X demonstrators at other dealerships around the country. So I was quite happy I went ahead with it. So in the end, what was actually my finance agreement? Well, I'll run through that now. Now, I didn't trade my polo in at the dealer. I ended up taking it to one of these car trading places where they'll give you cash instantly once they agree a price. I ended up putting 6,000 pounds down as a deposit on that car. The monthly payments are 473 and 24 pence, and that was a 48 month payment plan. After that 48 month term, my final balloon payment was 25,008 pounds, 75 pence. Just quickly for anybody that's not aware of how a PCP contract works, what happens is you charge an interest rate. In my case at the time it was 6.8% APR. You take the value of the car, you take your deposit off that you've paid at the front end, and then what's left is split between a balloon payment that is the final payment you'll make, and the difference is the loan amount that you pay down over the payment term, in my case 48 months. As you're paying them payments down, you're paying interest on that lump that's in the middle. And once you eventually pay that down, your final payment is the balloon payment and you either refinance the car at the balloon payment value or you just give them the car back. Or what they usually want to do is they want you to come in, trade your car in, whatever value the car's worth, minus the balloon payment is your deposit for the new vehicle and they will clear the finance with the finance company for you. For anybody that wants to check out what these finance agreements look like, the moment it seems that the finance calculator that comes out on the end of the configurator isn't working at the moment. I did get it to work for the 992 the other day, but I can't seem to get it working for the 718. But at my local dealer website, they do actually have a finance finance agreement illustration and I'll pop that up on the screen there. You can see this one's over a 36 month period and the deposit is higher than I put down on mine but it shows you roughly how it works out and how they charge the interest and what the final value is. 
For anybody that didn't know, VW actually financed the cars for you at Porsche, so it would be VW Finance that you end up taking your agreement out with. Again, I didn't actually go the whole term with that car, I only kept the car for 11 months and I traded the car back in at the dealer and they gave me £38,750 for the car. Just for anybody that's interested, I actually went on to Auto Trader on the internet and I found a car that wasn't the same spec. At the minute, there doesn't seem to be a great deal of cars out there, so I've picked something very close when it comes to possible original value of the car. It's a 67 plate as well, and you will actually see that the value of that car on the screen there now is £39,450, and that's actually at 22,500 miles. The reason I bring that up that is the car's a little bit over three years old there, and as you know, my finance agreement, my balloon payment at four years is £25,000. Car similar to mine, it's a similar age. Now that's a retail price. So if you go and actually trade it in at the dealer, they're gonna give you less because they need to make a percentage on it. But just goes to show you how well these Porsches actually hold their value second hand. I think at the moment, possibly these cars are holding the value a little bit better than they might have done because maybe there's not as much supply on the market or possibly because these cars are just before the particulate filters changed over and I think they're supposed to have a slightly better sound. I know that my 718 came in on a cold start, it used to get quite a lot of pops and bangs out of it until it settled down and I know with my 992 now that you don't really get that anymore. So this video really was just a precursor to me talking about the finance on my 992 and then you'll be able to see the difference between both of them and how much it actually costs to finance one over the other. There is a slight difference of the 992 and that's going to follow up in a different video and I'll explain why in that one and why I financed it slightly differently. If you've enjoyed today's video, if you could please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any videos in the future and thank you very much for watching. See you again. Bye.